At today's Founders Mass, we have a, a good number of parents, grandparents, and benefactors of the woods, and I'd like to welcome them and thank them for all that they do to make sure that this wonderful school continues to grow and prosper. And the most generous thing that they do is that they send you here. They share their young people with the school. So to moms and dads and benefactors and a couple of grandparents, thank you for your support of the woods, especially your support of these young people who are growing so wonderfully. Have you ever been at home and had all the lights go out? Yeah, oh yeah, the light. Sometimes it's a, it's a power failure. Sometimes if there's a bad storm, it knocks out the electricity. And all of a sudden, the house, especially like the basement, gets really dark. And even though you know the house, you know where your room is, and you know where the kitchen is, and you know where the den is, but when the lights go out, you get a little frightened because we're not made to live in the darkness. We are people of the light. And so when the lights go out, the electricity goes out, something strange happens in the house. It becomes a little dangerous, a little scary. And then all of a sudden, when the lights come back on, everything seems to be normal again. We are people who are built to live in the light. And Jesus says, not only are we built to live in the light, we are built to be the light. Now, if at home, when the lights go out, and they are out for a while, maybe even an hour or a couple of hours, people begin to look for things like flashlights or even candles because we need a little light. And it's amazing how even in a darkened house, a little candle can provide a lot of light. It can help us find our way. And even that little light, the little flashlight or the little candle is a welcome sign. That's what Jesus means when he says that we are to be the light of the world. We are to allow our light, might be only a little light, but we're, we're invited to make our little light shine. As a matter of fact, that's a very famous song. I'm going to let my little light shine. Imagine if we all let our light shine in a world that's so dark, we wouldn't be afraid anymore. Unfortunately, the world that we live in can sometimes be pretty dark and frightening and scary because people sometimes do things that really darken the world. They don't get along with their neighbors. Sometimes there is a big darkness when there's war, like the poor people of Ukraine right now living in darkness. And one of the things that that war has reminded us once again is when the bombs fall and they knock out the electricity, those people are living in darkness and sometimes in the cold. What we want to do as followers of Jesus is to remember always this gospel story about being the light of the world. Now, today, in addition to being Founders Day, it is also the feast of St. Angela Marici. And the woods has a relationship to Angela because before this was the woods, it was Ursuline. And Angela Marici, a wonderful Italian girl, founded a community to educate children, especially poor children, which in the 16th century was a pretty bold undertaking because education 
was not something that was usually available to poor children. But Angela decided that poor children also had lights and that she went out and she encouraged poor children to let their little light shine as well. So today the church honors Angela Marici. That was our opening prayer. So we do two things today. We honor the founders, the people who in their generosity and in their faith and their trust turned what was a Ursuline school into Our Lady of the Woods. But we also honor Angela Marici. And I love that name. Her first name was Angela. When you see the name Angela, what word do you think you of? Yes, sir. Angel. angel. And of course, the woods has lots of angels. How many angels are we here? do we have here? If you're an angel, put up your hand. Okay, we got angels. Now, I suspect some of the parents might say, well, I don't know how, that might be pushing it, Cardinal. But Angela was full of light, and she believed that youngsters, even poor youngsters, had lights that they could shine. Bless Angela Marici and bless all those who make Our Lady of the Woods a place of light. Amen.